For those using the IPVO document camera, you may have that program installed and when you launched it sometime this year or even today, you may have noticed that a pop-up comes up giving you an error message that that app is no longer supported. That was a Chrome app that was running that would work and now IPVO is no longer supporting that application. It will give you the option to go ahead and remove the app. You might as well remove it because it won't work and you'll have to get rid of it anyhow. So if you get that error message that says remove app, go ahead and do that. But what you'll need to do is reinstall the new application. So if you're on your PC, this is not in the Chromebook, this is just the PC. Once you remove it, you can go back to your desktop and you'll need to go to the software center. And this is the place that all of the district software gets pushed out to you. So if you find this icon on your desktop, go ahead and open that up. And you'll search down this list for the IPVO visualizer. So it looks just like this. Go ahead and click on that. Yours, if you don't have it installed, will have a button to install. So go ahead and install it. If yours is like mine, it says uninstall, that means you've already got it installed and you're ready to go. So once it's installed, you can go down to your start button down here at the corner. Scroll down to IPVO. Find the IPVO vis visualizer. Open that up. Go ahead and sign your life away. And then it will work. Now mine's not plugged in right now, so I'm using my regular camera. But if you're using this, go ahead and go down to the bottom down here, right click on it and pin it to your taskbar. Then it's always gonna be there. So what that will do is reinstall the newest version of the software and you'll be ready to go. And then you got rid of the one that no longer works.